Hello, and welcome to another Jewelry Thrift Haul. I'm Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and this is the third of my uh, group of purchases from the Salvation Army when they had their 40% off sale for Mother's Day jewelry. And the first item that I purchased um, was this group of three clasps and an extender chain. These are known as Clever Clasps and they are magnetic clasps which you use to convert an existing piece of jewelry so that it's easier to get off and on. Good strong magnet. Um, the unique aspect of this, these uh, convertible clasps is that you can actually twist one side to lock it so that the magnet doesn't release until you're ready to unlock it and then have the pieces release. So for $1.25, that was, I think, an excellent uh, purchase. Um, I don't know when I will need magnetic glass to make life easier, but uh, uh, certainly someone I know might, and uh, these were brand new in the package. Um, another brand new item that I purchased, there's the symbol, good old Charming Charlie, and... Uh, Here's the lovely uh, maker's mark. Sorry, that way, the C. Um, this is a Christmas piece. It's called White uh, Christmas White Light. Uh, a new piece, obviously. Um, there we go. Uh, a little angel with a faceted glass stone. Made in China. Hypoallergenic. A great little piece for my granddaughter come next Christmas, I'm sure. Uh, something else on card. I don't expect that these are new. The card says Coral Clip. Um, and these are clip earrings. They were, at one time, they were, could purchase for $8. They are not marked Cor... cor they are not marked Coro. They are marked Von Dome. And that's okay because um, Coro made Von Dome jewelry or bought out Von, Von Dome jewelry at one point. Von Dome was made in uh, Canada as well at one point. So I'm not sure what the real history is behind these. It could be the wrong card. Um, there were a bunch of these uh, Coro clip cards that had earrings on them. These are the only pair that were marked and the other ones that were on card weren't uh, of the quality that I associate with Coro. So they were, you know, very, very lightweight, very um, much lower quality than these. So I picked these up um, as an example, again, of uh, Vendome clip earrings. Picked up quite a few pairs of clip earrings. These I picked up. They are bright yellow with some lovely uh, rhinestones. I can get both there. <laughs> Not sure I'm coordinated enough to get two in the picture at once. There we go. Let's see how that is. So there's the pair, bright yellow, uh, painted yellow on the back, snow markings, um, but in excellent condition. I have no idea if these are uh, new earrings. Uh, they certainly don't look like something you'd see as a modern style. Um, I just think they're in fantastic shape because nobody wore them enough. And yellow is an unusual color um, to find in jewelry. They're, uh, they're nice, bright, and they're yellow. Uh, this is a pair of white beaded, plastic beaded uh, earrings um, with some unusual shapes of, of uh, beads. And they are uh, clip-ons and they are marked Germany. So these are... Uh, you know, well-worn or well-patinated on the, uh, the brass or copper backs here. Um, but very pretty and I think a nice example of uh, plastic beads, the variety of plastic beads in these kinds of earrings. Then these earrings, a pair of earrings, these are amazingly sparkly. I'm not sure how well they show up if I don't want to get them too close. Um, here, these are some of the nicest sparkling uh, rhinestones I've seen. The center are prong set. The rest are glued, I think. 
yeah, the rest are not prong set, but they are just so sparkly, so well cut. Now, the only problem with these is that uh, they are well worn and they have some verdigris on them. So these are uh, screw backs, so perhaps a little older than the clip backs that I've shown you, not too sure. Um, but I need to clean the verdigris off, so I've been keeping them separate uh, from the other jewelry. They were in a, uh, a separate bag to begin with. Um, so it, it, it's just a little bit of green, so uh, I uh, shouldn't have any trouble cleaning that off with a, a cloth, a damp cloth and some vinegar. But again, beautiful sparkly rhinestones. It's hard for me to figure out how where to put them to get the best idea in the camera. There we go. Sparkle, sparkle. Um, this pin has uh, decent rhinestones as well, especially the ones in the center. Um, and I bought it simply because it was something I could rob the uh, rhinestones from in the future if I needed to. Uh, modern pin, nothing special about it in its construction. I mean, it is reasonably well constructed. It's not flimsy or anything. Has good looking rhinestones, not missing any rhinestones. Silver tone, um, but uh, yeah, just a modern pin. This too is a modern pin. Christmas pin, a Christmas tree. And I'm not sure if it's meant to go like this, but someone has put two pair of earrings, of pierced, ear, uh, pierced earrings, uh, they've clipped them to this pin. Um, so there is this pair of green, little green balls, and this pair of uh, snowmen. And there aren't, it's not one of those um, items that has special holes. Like sometimes you get a little, you know, an ar a Noah's Ark pin, and there's special holes, and you put... Uh, animals pin into the pin, but they also can act as earrings. These are not that way. These were just stuck on there. So uh, maybe they came as a set that way. Maybe they didn't. But um, I doubted where the earrings are. They're, uh, uh, they're not very well made, but uh, certainly there's a, a reasonable little uh, Christmas tree pin. An even better Christmas tree pin is this pin. There we go, sorry. <laughs> this one, um, again, red rhinestones, just glued in, uh, red and white rhinestones, and then some green um, enameling on some of the leaves, a little rhinestone in the, t uh, the start at the top. Now, it's a little rough at the base. This is, again, a modern pin, and it's very interesting. It, it looks, by the design, like it was taken from a mold where this piece could have been um, uh, a bale for a pendant, but it's squashed and, and there's no hole through there. Um, so either that was the way it was designed to hold the star on top, but it looks uh, almost like it could have been a bale at one point. So I don't know if this is a copy from a mold of another uh, tree pin. Um, certainly that's not unheard of, but a couple of... Uh, reasonable Christmas tree pins. Now, what else did I get? Okay, so as I said, I had to bake up groups of three, so I, I um, picked up this shell um, bracelet. You can see perhaps here that there's a second hole in the diamonds of the shell, so there probably was a second um, stretchy strand of uh, beads or round beads between the the diamonds um, but I picked this up simply because um, they're beautiful heavy pieces of shell and they will be uh, great to repurpose nice color and and the uh, sort of cat's eye beads in between them uh, are nice as well so uh, this is definitely for repurposing I don't think that uh, that's such a fine, uh, stretchy cord. I don't, I'm surprised that it, it lasted as long as it did. Again, in the green line, um, this is so much fun. This is a piece marked Japan. It's a double strand. And look at these um, beads. There's these, these sort of wavy uh, barrels 
uh, so almost like a, 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 a mother of pearl or a, a pearlescent kind of plastic interior. There's these lovely shiny uh, textured gold beads in different sizes. And then there's the matte and the shiny green pearls. This piece is in amazing condition. And yet you can tell from the beads that this is not a modern piece. So this is this is just amazing. Um, uh, and I tried to see if I could find some earrings to go with it, but whoever donated this, uh, someone else probably picked up the earrings or they just maybe used gold, uh, wore gold earrings with it or not. But the beads, these barrel beads, they sold me. They're just gorgeous. Um, what else is here? Oh, this is an interesting piece. Um, this is not a heavy piece. As I assume it's modern. It's, um, I don't see, I don't know if you can see it, but this piece of stone is carved with a design. I prefer the, the plain side, but um, the, the carving is so light, you can, you can hardly see that it's there. And all of the beads that are on here, these ones are very interestingly shaped, are a stone of some type. I've never seen a, a, a bead of that shape before. It's sort of a twisted barrel um, with the round beads. So my job will be to figure out what kind of stone this is. Um, but very pretty and again unusual. Uh, I'm at this point with the prices I was buying uh, jewelry that I found to be interesting. Um, uh, and that I could do some research about, um, or just valued for its uh, its beauty. Um, this bracelet is really heavy. It uh, is um, a stretchy bracelet, and it's a little stretched out, as you can see. So it needs to be restrung. Slightly worn, but not bad. Um, and the um, it's more, it's, it's not worn through on both sides. Like the, the silver tone is there on both sides. So this is, um, these are all individual pieces separated with beads or with pearls in the centers of the figure eights. This could be easily repurposed. Um, uh, and, and yet it's nice in itself. So it might be, I might restring it. Um, for now I'm going to just put it away in my, uh, to do pile because I'm not sure, but I, I like these little swirls, the figure eights. They could be uh, uh, used in a lot of different pieces of jewelry. Another piece that needs restringing is this uh, Joan Rivers watch, um, dyed uh, pink dyed shell, in, with uh, a gold tone edge, in great condition. The only problem is that this plastic stuff that they use to string it. Um, is all stretched out and um, this, this plastic is great initially but once it uh, gets hot um, it starts to stretch and then it never retracts um, and also over time as you use it it stretches and uh, doesn't retract so I'm not sure why they use this with jewelry um, to be frank and as you can see this uh, watch is still running Time's actually pretty close to being correct, too, um, where I am, anyway. So another restringing job. I thought it was just actually quite a, a, a lovely-looking watch if it was um, not stretched out. And we're getting near the end. Um, this is uh, an inexpensive memory wire bracelet, and the reason that I bought it uh, was that these are um, rose montes, the, the shiny stones, the sort of purplish and uh, champagne colored stones are rose montes and they have four spots for stringing and I've been looking for some of these to make uh, um, some specific pieces of jewelry and it was much cheaper to buy them like this for a dollar and a quarter for the nine um, than to order them in from the states. So sorry guys, I, I, I bought cheap ones up here to, uh, uh, so I can repurpose um, these beads in my jewelry. And a couple more pieces. 
and of course they got tangled. Now, normally uh, this one piece I would not normally have purchased. Here's um, a tangled chain is tangled on the pen. Actually, it's quite a nice little chain, and these do feel like stone on the end. Let me just get this untangled. So here's the pendant. There's the pendant. And it's uh, a chain with a uh, gold tone chain with little um, bead stations on the chain. And the reason I picked it up is because it has a hang tag that um, I might like to remember. Uh, White House Black Market. So, again, this is not normally a piece of jewelry that I would uh, purchase to wear, but, again, because I was uh, got the best price if you bought groups of three, um, there's a, a group of three item, and uh, just to remind me of the, uh, the maker's tag, a modern piece. Um, oh, sorry, I miscounted. Two more pieces. Um... This is um, a lobster claw, but it's uh, a piece that looks a little older, so maybe early lobster claw. These are glass beads, four strands, two strands of these uh, reddish orange, a strand of the, of the dark coral, and then a strand of these um, opaque orangey white beads. And I, I thought these were lovely beads, and that's why I picked up uh, this strand. There you can see the color better. I'm not sure if I can, if there's a way to show it um, so that you see all of the strands better. But there's a good representation of the color of the beads. And then the last piece I picked up, because I needed one more piece to... Uh, uh, make my 18 pieces here. Um, this is a BCB generation bracelet. And again, I purchased it just for the um, maker's mark. Not sure how to get it so you can see it on the camera. Um, I certainly don't see this type of jewelry here. There we go, that's a little better. Best I can do, I guess. So BCB generation. It's not in great shape. There's a little mark here. It's starting to rust. Um, so again, just something to um, put away as an example of a BCB generation piece. And uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, thrift haul. If you have any idea about what this stone might be, um, it's very unusual. I keep throwing my big thumb in there. So uh, leave me some comments if you have some ideas. Um, and if you have any idea of the age of these yellow uh, rhinestone earrings, um, they could be, they're, they're kind of, uh, they're not modern, at least they don't look modern to me, but uh, I don't know, when was bright yellow? 60s? I could, maybe? I'm not sure. 60s, 70s that you might you have worn these? Any, any, any comments or ideas would be very welcome. And I love these barrel beads on the and this uh, these Japanese beads. They're fun. Not sure when if I'd ever wear them. Maybe for a costume. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. Uh, uh, have a great day. Uh, if you like this video, please do a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, do a thumbs down. Um, you know, feedback is helpful, positive and negative. And if you want to leave some comments, I'd love to uh, correspond with you. Thanks. Bye for now.